everybody, Mike Day here with everything about concrete.com. Now this video is going to be about concrete edging tools and specifically what you need to know before buying a concrete edger. Now on this page I'm going to show you some concrete edging tools and tell you which ones are my favorite and which ones are not. There's so many different types of concrete edgers out there on the market, different sizes, different manufacturers, different brands that if you're if you're looking to buy a concrete edger, it's going to be hard to make a decision on which is the right one to buy. So that's what this video is about and this page is to help you make that decision based on, you know, my experience using them every day and my crew's experience. Um, in case you don't know me, I'm Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. We specialize in concrete flat work. We do concrete floors, slabs, pool decks, driveways, patios, anything flat we do. And we use concrete edgers, you know, just about every day when we pour concrete. So let's get right to it. What's the reason for using a concrete edger, number one? Well, a concrete edger, it will give you a rounded edge along the outside perimeter of a slab, a pool deck, a sidewalk, a driveway. So it rounds that outside edge. And by rounding it, it makes it a little less susceptible to chipping so it kind of strengthens it a little bit. It also leaves like a, a tool mark which is kind of like a picture frame look when you're done so it kind of aesthetically makes the the slab or the driveway or the patio whatever you're doing look a little bit better when you're all done. So there's two basic types of edgers. The first is a flat designed concrete edger like this one right here, it's flat across here. And the second is a tapered concrete edger, where the edges, like this one right here, the edgers kind of taper up a little bit. Both of these edgers can be in a handheld design, like the two in the picture here, or they can be in a walk behind, kind of like this one right here. So, you know, in my opinion, it's a good idea to have both a handheld and a walk behind because the walk behind will reach places the handheld can't and obviously you don't have to bend over to do it. So they're both good to have. Um, the type I recommend and why. So I personally like the concrete edger with a tapered, the tapered front and back edge. Like this one right here. You see me, this is one you're going to see me using later. Stay tuned for the end of the video because I'm going to show you why. I got a little video about why it's better to have one with a tapered edge than one with a flat edge. But I definitely like the one with the tapered front and back edges and, and like I said the reason is simple. When you move the edger back and forth the tool doesn't want to dig into the concrete. You can hold it kind of flat and get very good results which makes it just easier to learn on. And if you come to this page I'll leave a link for it in the description. You know I got some links in here to to where to go to get my personal favorite edgers. Um, there'll also be a link in the description for all these different types of edgers so you can check them all out and make your own decision. But like I said, this page is about my preference and my personal uh, uses of these edgers. As you can see down here, I'm, I'm showing you using a flat edger. If you don't tip it up going frontwards and backwards, you have to tip it up on edge it will dig in like this and just cause a bunch of headaches and cause of problems and just make more work for yourself. If you have one with a tapered edge like the one up here, you can hold that thing flat and run it back and forth along your board like this and it just it won't dig in. You'll be fine. Now what are the most what are most concrete edgers made of? Well, there's three basic materials that they're made of. Stainless steel like this one right here like that flat one. These, flat, these stainless steel ones also do come with tapered edges. Um, th that's not my personal preference, but I like the, they also come in zinc and bronze. Um, I have both, I have all three actually, but zinc I like and bronze I, is our personal favorite. My guys personally like the bronze ones the best. They're very heavy duty, they last a long time, and I, again, they're excellent for using every single day. Now what about the brand? What, what are the brands? Well, there's all kinds of different brands out there from Craft Tool to Marshalltown to Bond Tool, uh, Gator. There's a bunch of different brands. The two we use the most are Marshalltown's Concrete Edgers 
and Craft Tools concrete edges. And again, they both make excellent ones. I don't know if one's better than the other. We like both of them. Um, this, this one right here, this Marshalltown one we have, it's a nine inch long by four inch wide edger. It has about a, a half inch tip down on it. So it gives you a nice rounded edge. This is our personal favorite right here, this little bit smaller one. It's six inches long by two and three quarter wide. And it's got about a half inch tip down with about a, you know, a quarter inch radius on the, on the rounded part. Um, we have multiple ones of these. We go through a lot of these. We use them a lot and they're just comfortable to use. They don't break. And like I said, they last a long time. So what would you use a walking concrete edger for? Well, sometimes uh, having a walking edger makes it easier to perform certain tasks. Like if you're having to edge a driveway around some landscaping and, and there's a bunch of bushes and shrubs and it's hard to bend over to get in there, the, the walking edger with the handle, you can reach right in there and get that edge. You don't have to worry about rubbing up against the shrubs. Sometimes the problem with that is if you're rubbing up against shrubs and bushes, sometimes the leaves or the needles from the bushes will, will fall down into your concrete and that's a real pain and you have to pick them out by hand. Sometimes if, you have to, if your edge is right up next to a fence, like around a pool, um, sometimes you can reach over that fence if it's only like maybe four feet tall or sometimes there's a, a small area like a, a foot wide distance between the edge of the concrete and the fencing where it's hard to kneel over and do it but you can walk there and do it so that would be another good reason to have a walk behind edger and then if you're just edging up against a knee wall or something it's sometimes or a long straight run it's easier just to have a walk behind edger than it is bending over so in conclusion, you know, my thoughts about edgers are that which one is considered the best concrete edger? Well, I can't say there's one that's the best. I can only give you what my preference is based on my experience using the ones that we use. And like I said, we like both Marshalltown and Kraft, and we definitely prefer the bronze ones over the other ones. Um, we use a couple different sizes, like I showed you above the the two and three quarter by six and the four inch by nine, those are two really good sizes to have. Now, in this little video right here, I'm gonna show you why we like the tapered ones versus the ones with our, that are flat. So, so just, the first edge so right here. take a look a... here, I'm gonna shut that off. I'll talk as I go here. You can see this flat one, flat steel edger, four inches wide. And like you see, it's almost like new and I've had this quite a while. We don't use this very much. It does have a nice rounded edge on it though. It does leave a nice rounded edge. So that's one reason um, you may use this one versus another one is to have a very, very good curve on the edge. And then uh, there's that zinc one, four inch by nine inch. That's one we like. That's a good rugged Marshalltown concrete edger right there. And it has the tapered edges, both front and back. So you can hold it really flat. This one works really good. We've got a lot of use out of that. I've had that one for a long time, as you can tell by looking at it. And then our personal favorite right here, this bronze one. You can see this one's really worn, but uh, that's because we use it every day. And comfortable to use, it's fast, gives you a nice edge. It's just, you know, we've worn down the edge so much, it's only about a quarter inch radius now, but it still leaves that nice rounded edge, as you can see right there. You can just push it along. You know, you, you, you don't want to get on the concrete when it's too wet, but you don't want to wait till it's too hard either. So you just want to be able to push your fingers into the concrete, maybe a quarter, three eighths of an inch, like I did right there. And you know, then it's time to start edging. Now you can see here, as I'm doing this, I got to tip it up to go one way. I got to tip it back up to go the other, which you don't have to really do with the tapered edges. If you don't tip it up, this is what happens. It digs in and then it just leaves a, you know, more work for you to, to fix that as you're edging and not really a great one to learn on. So this particular slab, we were gonna do a four inch edge. So I decided to use the big zinc one. There you go, just run it back and forth. It cuts right in, you butt it right up against the board and uh, just makes edging real easy. The tapered edges one is the, definitely the one to go with if you're just learning. Whether you get the four inch one or the two and three quarter, that doesn't really matter. That's the one to go with right there. So look guys, if, 
if you like this video, you know, go down there and give me a thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and also the little bell notification so you'll be notified of any new videos I have coming up. I got new ones coming out all the time. And definitely check the description out for the links to these concrete edgers. If uh, I'll have the ones down there for my favorite ones, and you can just click on that, and you can you can buy them there, or you can go to you can go to Amazon yourself, or even Home Depot or Lowe's probably and buy these. But um, anyway, anything anything you do to help me out with this site, I appreciate it. And thanks again. We'll see you on the next video.